This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, January 30th. Starting out with the stock index futures, another down day. Much of this linked to rising interest rates. But I also think that a lot of it is liquidation ahead of the Federal Open Market Committee meeting, which starts today and concludes tomorrow. Many analysts believe that the tone of the statement may be a bit on the hawkish side, which I believe will be the case. Once the Fed meeting is out of the way, I believe that we will see the bull market resume. So pressure likely to remain between now and the conclusion of that meeting. Once again, after the meeting is out of the way, higher prices are likely again for the indices. Moving over to the currencies, the dollar index lower in spite of rising interest rates here in the US. That in itself should be viewed as a sign of weakness when the dollar cannot advance on bullish news. Also, we are seeing the euro currency higher with better economic numbers coming from the eurozone with GDP numbers for last year at the best levels in 10 years. Also, we are seeing some gains in the British pound as it now appears that the Bank of England is on track to hike interest rates possibly at the May meeting. At least there's a 50% chance of a rate hike then. Interest rate markets lower at the long end with the bonds lower, making another new 10-month low as interest rates continue to increase. We'll probably see lower prices for bonds through the Fed meeting. So I would expect some new lows in that time period. Once the meeting is out of the way, I would expect some type of short-term recovery. But that rally, if we do get one, should be in another selling opportunities as the main trend, I feel, for the bonds is still lower. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.